It's Noor Haytham and today I'm going to be talking to you about an important topic in our RGCAC computer science course. So let's begin. Our topic today is about pseudocode. So what is pseudocode? It is a simplified uh, programming language used in program design. So here are the arithmetic symbols. Um, the addition, the multiplication, the subtraction, the greater than, less than, division, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. There are three loops in pseudocode. The first one is 4 to next, which is used when the number of repetitions is known. The next loop is while, do, and while. Uh, the loop may never be performed and the conditions are checked before the loop. The final loop is repeat until and is used when the number of repetitions may not be known. The condition is checked at the end, which means always go through the loop once. We have two conditional statements in pseudocode. The first one is if then else and if, and the second one is case of and case. Here are the flowchart symbols. The rectangle is the process, the oval is the start slash stop, the uh, diamond is the test uh, condition, the parallelogram is the input slash output, and the rectangle with two lines in it is the subtask. The arrow is called the flow arrow and shows which direction the flow chart is going. There are five key elements of pseudocode. Identifying and setting the variables, deciding the loop to use, the exit condition, actions inside and outside the loop, and the final output. There are four verification checks. The range check, which checks for an input within a certain range. Length check, which checks if the input is a specified number of characters. Presence check, which checks that something is completed in the input box. Character slash format check, which checks for correct character and format type. Uh, here is a pseudocode question, and this is the hardest question you could get in a test. So the question says, write an algorithm using pseudocode, which inputs the population and land area for 500 countries. Calculates the population density for every country, population uh, divided by land area. Outputs the largest and smallest population density and outputs the average population for all 500 countries. Here's the answer using loop 1, which is the 4-2 next loop. The step 1 is initializing the variables. The variables uh, I used are population density equals 0, population equals 0, land area equals 0, count equals 1, largest equals 0, smallest equals 5 billion because it needs to be a number uh, over um, any population could be and total equals zero. Step two, write down the main section of the code. So we start off by for count equals one to five hundred and then we go on to print in commas enter population equals population and then print, print equals in commas enter land area equals land area population density equals population divided by land area if population density is greater than largest then population density equals largest if population density is smaller than smallest then population density equals smallest total equals total plus population and we, on, we end uh, that section with next count step 3 is showing the results uh, to the viewer at the end so the last three steps are Print uh, in commas smallest density equals smallest. Print in commas um, largest density equals largest. And print in commas average equals total divided by 500. I hope this video helped you uh, in some way uh, with your learning. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.